Hey everybody, hola mi gente, what's up, que bola? It is Monday, May 30th, 2022. We're gonna be doing a card of the day, a focus of intention for the next 24 to 48 hours. It's directed by spirit, universe, whatever higher power you call upon. My job is not to push a belief system onto you. My job is to teach you how to believe in yourself and connect whatever you want, because that's none of my fucking business. With that being said, this is not a reading. A reading is an intimate discussion between you and a spiritual advisor of your choice, hopefully led by your intuition. As I always say, your intuition is your superpower. Everyone's born with intuition. Not everyone listens to it, as you can see the state of the world. A couple announcements. Remember, the Almighty Pineapple LLC is trademark, copyright, and registered in three different classifications with the United States Trademark and Patents Office. Any duplication of my content without my permission is subject to legal recourse. It's guided by my legal team. Um, we do have the new moon today, so happy new moon, but the new moon community ritual will not be until Wednesday. I teach classes on Monday evenings. I have group programs, and then I also have uh, previous commitments on Tuesdays uh, for Love Thyself. So we are still in new moon magic. The new moon is the night of the new moon and three and a half days after, so we're still in that powerful new moon magical phase in the areas of intention for the new moon community ritual on wednesday june 1st at 8 p.m eastern standard time is peace resolution success prosperity forgiveness abundance and confidence uh with that being said don't forget that the mojo envelopes pre-order mojo envelopes and the transformation pendant i'm wearing it the double a pendant and the lots of love pendant which are pre-orders are available now the sale will be on until june 3rd after that they will be removed and won't be coming back until the end of june and with this round if once whatever you buy with a pre-order you get a free protection jewelry item from me as well on top of any of the mojo envelopes or any of the pendants and i want to see what else oh we do have subscriptions um payment plans available for I am the altar private membership. I am the altar is a private membership done on Facebook where you get access to me seven days a week. You get included into all the community rituals. You get included into monthly community reading. You get first dibs on any cancellations, any discounts. Uh, for example, um, I gave my members a discount for in-person sessions. So it's stuff like that. So if you're part of the membership, you get perks. And on top of that, it's a great place to share your successes, your failures, your frustrations, your joys, your highs, and all of that. Um, and I want to see what else is going on. I think that's about it. Oh, June 11th, I am doing in-person sessions in Brooklyn, New York. I only have two spots left available. So with that being said, let's get to the card of the day. It's coming from the Adinkra Ancestral Guidance card by Simone Breziando, who is no longer with us. I miss you, Simone. I love you dearly. You are always with me, literally, always with me. Uh, that's one of the symbols from her deck. It's the abundance symbol. So let's see what spirit has to say for us today. So I am just basically just praying to my spirits. And the card of the day is called Osram Ne Nesro Ma, which means moon and star, a symbol of love, faithfulness, and harmony that exists in the bonding between man and woman. That's what the symbol represents. But let's see what the guidebook tells us, what this is saying to us. So, philosophical significance, balance, equally yoked, and faithfulness. It is time to harmonize the energies between the masculine and feminine energies in your life and relationships and also within you. Find the common ground be these, between these two energies, appreciate the differences, and form an unshakable bond that is diverse, in sync, and true. Additional meanings for this card, despite what you've been taught, the masculine and feminine can honor and coexist without difficulty. The yin to your yang and solid partnership. So basically spirit is saying it's time to balance things out, not only within yourself, because universal energies are male and female. And just like we carry male and female chromosomes in our body, male and female hormones in our body, we carry male and female energies within our body as well. For me, the male is more... The male, the masculine energy is more logical, more thought, right? You know, all about thought, action. And for me, the feminine is more nurturing and receptive and more creative. Masculine is more productive and giving. And women and men, you know, tend to not know where they're either working in their masculine or working in their feminine. But why not work in both? 
And if you're more than the other, then it's time to balance those things out. If you're more masculine than feminine in your energy, then it's time to be more feminine. If you're more feminine than masculine in your energy, then it's time to be more, you know, masculine. If you feel that you're equally yoked, then that's great. Then, then if that's working already within you, how can this um, balance? How can you be equally yoked or balanced within within um your relationships uh with your dynamics with your partnerships with your children with your parents with your siblings with your colleagues co-workers business partners how can you find the balance and where are you lacking balance are you lacking balance within yourself or within another relationship and if it's within the other relationship you have to start understanding that only you can control you so even though you want to try to balance things out if the other party doesn't want to balance things out this is where you have to pull back and start recognizing that your energy Energy can only be used for you if they're not willing or wanting to change to start compromising to make sure it's a balanced relationship so again for me the message I keep hearing is more about balance balance within yourself first and then balance within every then try to balance within everything else I hope that helps I hope that puts some things in perspective and I hope I made you feel better you guys have a great day thank you for fuck with me and I'll see y'all later